The video starts now. How old are you now? 24. 24. And so did you finish high school? Yeah. You do crack? Yeah. And where do you stay? You're in a tent? Um, no, I just uh, walk the streets all night. Oh, you day. do? Yeah. And it's tragic. You can see redraw symptoms in the last phase of her life. She's already scratching her body. She's um, delusional. She's saying she's a clone. The truth is out. The truth is out. Hi there. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Cher, a clinical psychologist, a mental health advocate, and a humanitarian. For those of you that are new to my channel, because my subscribers most likely already know that, and I want to appreciate you guys, my subscribers, I mean, for, you know, supporting the channel and letting me grow to this level in such a time span. And if you're new to the channel or this is your first time, you know, coming across one of my videos, kindly subscribe. I upload interesting content three times a week, you know, giving my psychological opinion and my experience about situations that can plausibly or possibly help you and, um, stuff you can learn from about life and some of the problems that we go through as human beings and um, on today's episode i'm going to be giving my reaction or my psychological opinion or view about a video that went viral of a girl or a young lady in america in her 20s that got addicted to a substance and they gave a documentation of her life um in a four month span according to the report and um it's very very weird because um you that you would be very surprised to the kind of um, outcome that came about from a substance use in such a short period of time so i'll be watching the video now and um, i would like you to leave your comments about your opinion or if you know someone that is you know um addicted to a substance you can share to the person and all that so i'll give my opinions and give my views and explain to you a couple of things about this video so the video starts now how old are you now 24 24 and so did you finish high school yeah yeah and where did you go when you left home? I went to CSUN, um, Cal State Northridge. For college? Mm -hmm. oh, how many years did you do college? Uh, two. two years. Then I dropped out. I wasn't really doing any work, just smoking weed. So I dropped out. Uh, and, then, and then what did you do after that? Um, I moved in with my boyfriend. Okay. It was a tricky situation. I did some things I regret, so. It wasn't a really good situation, so we broke up, and I moved out here. So, um, so now I'm down. I live downtown LA um, as a prostitute, and you, I'm a crackhead. You do crack? Yeah. And where do you stay? You're in a tent? Um, no, I just uh, walk the streets all night. Oh, you day. do? Yeah. And I'm a clone. <laughs> oh, did I already talk to you? No. You sure I haven't talked to you? No. I think I have. No. Uh -huh. So, so who do you stay with now? Uh, I stay, I stay um, with my father. He's a he turned out to be a molester, so I just walk the streets day and night, prostituting and smoking. Downtown LA. Yeah, you look very different. I think that's. I think I spoke to you before. Um, it, it, have you finished school? Have you how much school? Um, I went to CSUN. Um, they um, I got sent to um, ELP. Especially. What are you doing? I'm doing that. I lost my voice because I mean they don't want me to say much. Or um, you, how'd you lose your voice? Basically, you know what I'm saying. I go so hard. I tell the truth so much. Um, and then what'd you do after that? Twenty four. Twenty four. And so did you finish high school? Yeah. Yeah. And then what'd you do after that? We are, in, we are in this country, and you know what I'm saying? Thank you so much. I, I don't think they should be forever, and I do need to relax and enjoy life. Uh, my nervous condition, I don't think I'm cool. Wow, that is a very, very devastating and severe case. Um, why is it that bad? Um, it's because of the level at which she, you know, dilapidated, went on a downward, downward spiral in, sh in such a short period of time, four months. And um, it's tragic to see this kind of thing, but this is the effect of severe substance abuse or substance use disorder, as the professionals would put it. Um, it's very tragic and obviously you can see that there's a level of dysfunctionality in our upbringing she was molested by her dad and all that and that is a very very strong factor 
and it strongly influences people's lives you know this severe dysfunctionality can ruin people's lives and um, this is a, a, a very very realistic and obvious um, proof of that concept and it's tragic you can see redraw symptoms in the last phase of her life she's already scratching her body she's um, delusional she's saying she's a clone literally for her to come off or come back from this is this is going to be something it's going to be really really something and that's the negative effect of substances and it's tragic to see this and um i will all i'll just say is that um try as much as possible to not do drugs we need to understand ourselves we need to understand our bodies people have different kind of neurological predispositions it means the way our body works on the inside is relative and different because you see somebody taking a substance doesn't mean you should take it it might act differently in your body you know which brings me to the little story a quick story i want to tell you about one of the experiences i had during my internship program in um neuropsychiatric hospital Abe Okuta, one of aru is a very very popular uh, mental health hospital and you know most times they take people with severe cases there and i met this young man there when i was doing my internship program and um, it was just there because of marijuana use and i was wondering oh marijuana use you know is a more is a kind of is on a different class substance that you know there's a subjective view that is not as um dangerous as other substances but that took him there and um the kind of symptoms he was he was showing you know delusions he had stabbed his wife before because of paranoia thinking she wanted to poison him and all those things and doing the assessments me and a couple of my team uh, my colleagues um found out that he had you know underlying personality disorders before he even started taking substances which was um paranoid personality disorder and histronic personality disorder you know those are big terms but i'm sure i can explain it to you you know that he has problems with his traits naturally he's a different kind of person um that's the meaning and um, he started taking the substances and, and the substances you know aggravated the situation the drugs he was taking the the weed and the alcohol and everything he was taking you know affected his life negatively and obviously you must have learned it from someone and there are some cases where you see some people using these substances and it doesn't bother them too much they can still be relatively functional but you have to understand yourself you know the fact that you see somebody taking a substance doesn't mean you should do it because we are different we are differently made we are fearfully and individualistic in nature traits personality emotions our even our chemical and neurological makeup so before you jump on a substance or before you start using a substance you know understand that these things could be dangerous you don't know the effect it's going to have on you you don't know the effect it's going to have on your future you don't know how addictive you are you don't know anything can happen you know so you have to be careful you know like for example this young lady now you know she's kind of ruined her life you know and you know how chemicals how substances work how these drugs work they are chemical substances they go to the brain and change the functioning of the brain you know there's a neurological and physical implication of these substances on the mind you know it's not abstract like what people believe emotions and feelings are you know abstract but these things go there to tweak something and before you know it your body starts depending on that substance like you need that substance to survive that's dependency and once those substances go or those that drugs goes you start experiencing withdrawal symptoms it means the body is craving this thing okay like you're not eating food or you've not that's you know your body is not functioning normally again without this influence or the application of those drugs or substances so you have to be very very careful you know this is not to come and talk about um don't do drugs because it's a sin or it's bad no i'm talking about the physical and neurological implication of these substances on your mental health and your body there was a story i i, I heard of um i watched sorry and um the, the guy had never taken a call in his life and you know how alcohol works alcohol is a toxin and he took it for the first time he was a teenager and he died and doing a, a tracking of history they found out that in his life you know his parents nobody in his generation had ever taken alcohol before so his body generationally genetically didn't understand how to break down the alcohol in his body so when he was drinking the alcohol the alcohol came into his body just like poison like a toxin so he went there and damaged a whole lot of things and killed him because the body could not break the alcohol down he didn't understand what alcohol was and that's the idea and concept of actually understanding yourself before you jump on anything you know you can apply this to anything in life you know don't copy people don't follow the trend don't take substances because people are doing it you don't know how addictive your personality is you don't know how, you don't know how addictive you are you don't know how your body is going to react to these things so you have to be very very careful you know when you're doing anything you know drug drug is very very bad she even said it yes yeah, that she's a crackhead with multiple other substances and in most cases when you're addicted to a substance or a drug you mix it with other things you take other things so you have to be very careful stay away from drugs stay away from substances they are very dangerous to your physical mental health and everything right now it's going to be difficult for her to pick up 
from her, from where she left off in her life and you know many of these cases is because of severe levels of dysfunctionality you know she was not brought up well you know her dad was abusive you know life sometimes could be difficult and, and, and unfair to some people and that's just how it is but what you should learn from this is try as much as possible to understand yourself understand your body don't just jump on any substance and decide to use something because you think people are using it and it's not bothering them just be safe be smart um you know do things in moderation don't don't do crazy things with your life because your life is just one and any damage or tweak that you do or make in your life can permanently ruin everything for you so yes that's all for this video thank you very much for um staying to this part of the video obviously you worked it to the end and um kindly you know subscribe to my channel leave your opinions about the con content i put out and you know what you feel about this girl in the comment section and let me hear what you think um and don't do drugs people stay away from drugs don't do drugs is a cliche but you know you have to not do drugs you know because you can end up like this forget the kind of drugs you know any kind of drugs can bring you to this level depending on your interaction and your body system or how you interact with the drugs sorry so kindly subscribe um you know be a permanent supporter of my channel i want to appreciate my subscribers for being wonderful supporters and um stay tuned for my next episode see you next time